Okay, here we are on the 20th of Tevis, the yard site of the Rambam, and the birthday of one of our children, Chaim Moshe, who's partly named after him, the Rambam. Okay, 20 Tevis. The Midler Rebbe answered someone in Yehidus. When two discuss a subject in Avoida and they study together, they are two divine souls against one natural soul. Do you get that? Why isn't it two and two? Anybody know? Okay, I won't play games. <laughs> I won't play games with it. The answer is because, because they, the they, his, your nefesh Bahamish doesn't care about me. It just cares about you. But your nefesh al cares about me. How's that? That's great. Like that that, yeah, and that's it. That's it. The nefesh al is all, and el in general is all about the scholarless inter-inclusion, right? And the nefesh of the is everybody for themselves. Great. <clears throat> that's why when two people study together, there are two divines. There's a unity there. Two people together against one natural soul. I want you an animal soul. Everybody got that? Animals like uh, animals are out for themselves, basically. Oh, they, they care for their young, that's for sure. But you look at animals in the wild, they are raging to, for territory. The end of the godly soul isn't raging for its own territory. They're all godly souls are raging together to be in the God's territory. All right. That's now we have a lot to do today because it's the Arab Shabbos. We got and a fair amount, and our custom here on Friday is to try to get through uh, Arab Shabbos and Shabbos, since we're not going to be together on Shabbos. Lessons in Tanya, we are starting here, page 198, 198, yeah. where the paragraph begins. Now, this aforementioned love, and in Tanya, the classic Tanya, we're on page Yudtes. Okay. This level of love of Hashem that is spoken about, that we've been speaking about in a Benini. The Shasa Tefila, the time when the Benini is Davini, or otherwise engaged 100% in a Bodhis Hashem. Agidei his Gavrus Nebishalakis, through the power of the godly soul. In the Lagabi Medarek HaSazadikim, now, comparing the, that love of Hashem, that level of love of Hashem, of a benini, to the love of Hashem of a tzaddik, who is oide Hashem be'emes lamite, which see, true, serves God with complete truth. Why is his truth complete truth and the benini is not? We'll see. Ein abazu b'shem avoides emes. So the avoider of ava Hashem, he's just taking ava as one of the, you know, there's seven midos, love, ava, yira, love, fear, ah, etc., and comparing the midas of the benini to the midas of the tzaddik. So the, the midah of ava, for example, is not in a benini, is not called the shame of as emes at all. It's not called the service of truth at all. Why? Because it goes away after the person davens, when the person is not engaged in the as shame. So as we've spoken many times in the last few days, what happens is there's something, it's something, a taste of, a schmeck, a smell, if you will, of, of the negative that rises into the benini, even though the benini never grabs a hold of it in one's thought, speech, and deed. But it does that, that it, so the schmeck rises up again, the smell, the taste of it rises up again after the benini is out of, out of the dynamite, leaves the shul, so to speak. And leaving the shul, of course, is just an example of being not involved in the Bodhis Hashem, the service of God. We can see, if, as it's written in Pasuk, it says, Svas MST kum da'ad ariga lashin sheker. It says, the lip of truth is something that lasts forever. And if, if something is momentary, it's, it's called falsehood. So even though the Benini, again, the Benini doesn't sin in thought, speech, and deed, that schmeck, that smell, that, that arousal is there, and it comes back. So therefore, it's not called MS. It's not called true, true truth. One of the things that I learned uh, day one when I came to Yeshiva, MS, the word truth is Aleph, Mem, and Tov. 
Aleph is the first letter of the alphabet. Mem is the middle letter of the alphabet. Tof is the last. So Emes itself stands for uh, true and true all the time. And nevertheless, even though it's not there all the time, in relation to and in, 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 as applied to the level of person we call the Benanim, Nikos Avoidis Toma. It's a pure, true avoider. The Emes Lamite Shalahem. It's a relatively true. It's true for that person. Ish Ish And each and every person is holding on a different level in terms of the degree to which the negativity, and again, let's understand negativity, unaligned disalignments, not makabal, not aligned, Kabbalah here, Russian Kabbalah, like the the hooks on the in the in the des, in the, in the Mishkan that held the curtains were makabal. They were opposite, aligned one in each other. Another meaning of uh, Kabbalah besides receive is mean alignment. And even though a person is, person is not perfectly aligned, each person different has moments has these different moments. Each each kavimadervasa, each person according to his madrega, in, the, in terms of levels of bainanim. Each, what do I mean levels of bain? Every bainani is not going to have this evil grasp in his thought, speech, and deed. That's true of everybody. But every ba- every bainani and every one of us has a different struggle in terms of what it takes to deal with that uh, that smell that does arise from inside and how we're going to deal with it and, and which arena that we're going to, something arenas it's going to be easier and some arenas it's going to be hard, harder. But each of us who is a bainani, uh, has that quality of not entering thought, speech, and deed, but the struggle is different. Okay, so So since it doesn't enter into the person's mind, so the Alter Rebbe calls that Ava, that love of Hashem, or it could be any Yiras Hashem, etc., that the Abenini has in Tefillah, also Sfas Emes it has It's true. Because the Benini can always grab onto that power of the Benini's godly soul and bring that love and bring that posture of, this, of, of complete alignment with Hashem in thought, speech, and deed into him or herself. By strengthening oneself in the time of davening, you know, fighting off those Devorim betelim, those thoughts that, that want to take, keep you away. The Benini is in a constant struggle. And the, the arenas may be different, and the degree of struggle may be different from person to person, but he's in a constant struggle to suppress that, that smell, that, that trace that rises up into the mind. The Benini has a struggle, each and every day. And the, the Benini gets ready for the struggle, for preparing, preparing for. You know, one of the ways we get ready to daven uh, is by learning Hasidus before daven. I mean, it's amongst the things, you know, in the non in the Chabad yeshivas or in the, in the Litvish yeshivas, that learning, learning is come, comes after daven. That's learning of Gemara. But learning Hasidus is not in that class. Learning Hasidus is a preparation for daven, is a preparation for prayer. So every Benini has their way of preparing in order to do the to do the battle with the Yetzir that the Benini has to do every day. Each and every each and every kefi al erka umadrega. Each Benini according to his or her level. By the way, since we're having this long, we're going to get through Shabbos. We're trying um, rather than I'm probably not going to have a lot of time at the end. So raise your hand if you have something, please, along the way that you're not getting. Please. Now, the meter of truth is the meter of Yaakov. Yaakov is the middle. Is, you have Avram on the right, Yitzhak on the left, and Yaakov in the middle. He's the one that joins things together. That's why it's called the middle kav, the middle line. And that middle line corresponds to an architectural feature of the Mishkan, which was the Reach HaTekon. It was a beam, a, a steel, I don't know if it was steel, but it was a, 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 beam, a beam that held the walls of the Mishkan together. Just like Yaakov holds Chesed and Gevorah together in the form of Teferis. So there's this wall, wall in the, there's this, the, this structure with, and this, 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 wall, this, this line of 
of either uh, some metal or I don't know what it was, but it held the walls together. And it went around the Mishkan from one end to the other. And it goes from one level to the other. All the hells, all the boards together. One, one board to the other. From, from the beginning to the end. And, and all the ups and downs and the rights and lefts, it was the thing that was the middle thing which held all the other things together. Shaheen the Kudis Ubikinas Minas Emes. And that's what Emes is, as I said earlier. Emes is Aleph, Mem, Tov, beginning, middle, and end. And, it, and the word Emes brings all three together the, the middle, the beginning, the middle, and the end. Umidas Emes, who Nachla Belimitsorin. And truth, Emes, is an inheritance without any boundaries, without any limitations. The Aimlo Shir Umayla, Lamayla Ad Rema Mayla's truth. <coughs> We're coming on to a, a different, an, an interesting idea. Truth, the truth exists at many different levels. Your truth is different than my truth. I mean, in just in daily life. How you see things is different than the way I think things. I and mean, neither one is right or wrong. So simple, similarly, this, could trans, this goes through all levels of reality. From the lowest worlds to the upper levels, there's truth in the level of the seer. Is, let's, let's just try to talk about the emes amite, the truth of all truth, which is God himself. The perception of godliness is different from one world to another. That doesn't mean one is false and one is true. It's just that there are different levels of emes. And what he's saying here, from one, from above to below, from one level to another, and the truth as it is on one level here, down here below, is, is not truth, compared to the way things are seen above. The perspectives get different, and the uh, awareness gets different as you move from one level to another. I mean, this is you know, a simple thing in just in terms of maturity of a person. What's, what's true and, and, and important to you at one level of your development is not so important at a higher level or a more sophisticated level of your development. So similarly in all the worlds, truth is truth, but at the same time, it moves in terms of the veracity of it and its importance to you as you move from one level to another. This is in the bracket here, as is known to those who know, that the top level of a lower level, right? This is the top of this level, the top level of a lower level, right? Is lower than, is, is lower than the bottom of a higher level, right? So the, the head of one level is lower than the feet of another level. As he says, is the, the, heat, the head of one level is lower than the feet of another level, which is higher than it. As our sages say in the Gemara Chagiga, the feet of the angels are, or, are inclusive of everything. So the feet of their angels on all different levels. And the point here is that for us, what I mean, the point for what, what do we, so what do we care? What, what do we care about this is each of us need to know that each of us have a different struggle and a different opportunity <laughs> and are given different strengths in order to achieve the, the level at our level of what we call Benini. Benini, each of us was going to, is going to have different opportunities each one is going to have different days and different moments uh, when we're aware, and each one of us is going to be very different. But at the same time, it's emes, meaning the benini is defined. However, the struggles may be different and the days may be different. The, the truth of the benini is that whatever the struggle is to con connect, that connection is there, is in one's thought, speech, and deed all the time, even though it may not be there in the deeper levels of the soul. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. <clears throat> when you talk about angels being at different levels, mm -hmm. um, is it right to pray that all the different levels of angels help? You know, if pray for all of them to help me because... Yeah, absolutely. You know, because then yeah. the low can do some of the dirty yeah. work. You know? Yeah, absolutely. And that, that's actually the structure of the angels at different levels. They can, for instance, when it comes to tefillahs, davening, 
the angels, the words that come out of our mouth go into the air, but they don't get, they don't disappear. They go, it was in, 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 in Hebrew, one of the words for air is ruach, wind, right? So we have a wind, our air goes out of our mouth, the ruach comes out of our mouth. You know, uh, the words have substance to them, but they float up and then an angel into the realm of spirituality, ruach also means spirit, an angel takes hold of them and brings them up to another level where another angel can take them and higher and higher and higher. So we don't, I'm not sure that if you said this or not, we don't pray for the angels, but we do pray that our prayers should ascend on high. And we were taught that the way that they are sent and ascending on high is through the various levels of angels. Chapter 14. This is uh, Shabbos's, uh, our Shabbos. We have, uh, we have 10 minutes. We can start, any other questions before we move on to 14? Can, can I make a comment just briefly? Sure, of course. Be, I think <clears throat> for people, uh, this idea of different levels of truth, I don't want to say exactly rel relativity of truth, but <clears throat> it's important to keep in mind for people what, because a lot of people get very, confused when you're learning Hasidus and in Korea and, and depends on what level you're talking because things just keep changing and and it's it's gets it can turn some people off because you have to have a little fluidity and you have to be able to live with a paradox and you have to be able to see things from lots of different perspectives um, but that's what it made that's what made me think about when you talk about this thank you all right, we're starting on chapter 14. And again, please raise your hand and, you know, and catch my attention because I'm moving here. Now here's, a, here's something to underline. The attribute, the ability, the measure, the ability to stand as a Benini is something that belongs to every Adam. Every Adam, every person can reach this. And after this level, everyone is dry. Now, this is another thing to think about. Every human being, and certainly every Jewish human being with this nefesh elakis, has an innate, we've talked about this before, natural embedded yearning to connect with Hashem. And that yearning is uh, misplaced or when people don't know, put it this way, let me start this way. When a person has a craving for anything, whether it's chocolate, or whether it's to have a relationship with this particular person, right? Or whatever you crave and yearn for, all the cravings and yearnings are ultimately derived from the craving and yearning that we have to unite with Hashem, with the everything, with the allness. So every human being, and certainly every Jew, is, is innately drawn to this, this to to connect but not everybody knows what to connect to therefore the, the connections get perverted sometimes right but the person knows should know every human every jew has the ability to become a bainini and every jew is drawn to that desire to connect in that way everything uh, every person is drawn after that she call other every person Every Jewish person, Yochol Lies Benini. Everyone can be a Benini, Bechol Ace or Bechol Shah. And this gets back to the uh, Benini moments. There are some moments when all of us are Benini. The moment that we're immersed 100% in Avodis Hashem of any manner. Avani, you know, as we spoke yesterday, baking challah, whatever it is, if you're there in a mitzvah, you're there in Davani. You're there in learning 100% of you at that moment. That's a main any moment because you know that the Yetzirah is still, you got it, you got one still, you still have one, but it's not in any way entering your consciousness. So everybody can be a Benini and, and, and everybody can be a Benini all the time. Ki Benini ain't mois bera because remember, you don't have to despise evil. That's the tzaddik. You just have to block it. So that it doesn't enter your thought, speech, and deed. He doesn't despise evil, 
This is something that's given over to the heart. Remember, the mayach is what shoylet alalev. The brain can rule over the heart. The heart doesn't necessarily lose uh, that, that, that negative desire. The negative desire is there. It doesn't run up into the conscious mind. So the... Uh, to, to, to totally eradicate it, that's something given over to the heart. Well, I call itim shabbos, and not every time is equal. A person can turn from evil and do good in, in, in this moment, and maybe not in that moment, in this moment, but not. And one can make those moments more and more frequent. And through practice, the Alter Rabbi says we can make them 100%, that we become Dainan. In, in actuality, everyone can do that. That is to actualize one's thought, speech, and deed on the side of attachment to Hashem only. Indeed, speech and thought. That everyone has the free choice and the ability to do this. And the ability is given to every person. Really, the word permission is given. God wants you to do it. He said, I'm giving you permission. Do this. Permission is given. Permission is given to every person. Every person has the ability to do, speak, and think. Those Even those things which are run against one's taibas. Right? This is... I mean, as we do this all the time, people who are dieting, right? The tithe is still there, but I'm not going to do it, right? That's not good for me. So just model that at, at higher and deeper levels that have to do with all the behaviors that a person knows. And the more you learn, the more you know which are the behaviors that connect you. Not only you know it by learning, but you learn it by experience over the years. The more you connect the more you know how to make the connections and the more you disconnect the thought, et cetera, et cetera. Not only you know how to, how to do them, but you have, you have a taste for that connectedness. So this becomes, as I said a number of times, Hergel Nasa Teva Practice becomes your second nature by, by practicing. So everyone knows what the taivas are and everyone has the ability to stand against them, the, the taivas of the heart. And to transform them, the desires. Instead of the desire for this, I'm going to will myself to that, and that becomes my second nature, and I develop a will and desire for that. He, right? I mean, just back to the diet. I mean, I've been on a few. There are some where, uh, you know, and not necessarily uh, about tithe, just things that are not healthy for me, right, or for you. And, uh, and you know that you shouldn't do them, but you develop an alternative diet and the alternative diet becomes pleasurable, right? And, and it becomes pleasurable not only for its own sake, but the fact that you know that you're making, you, that this is something you're doing in the name of health and not the opposite of health. Even the time, at the time when the heart is literally craving and desires for some kind of taiva, chocolate, whatever, whatever comes to your mind, gashmias, the heter, and it's permissible, oiba isa, or a taiva which is forbidden, has Every person, the Alter Rabbi is telling us in this chapter 14, every person is yochalis gavr lasia daitamimenu, a person has the ability to turn one's, one's, one's mind away from it, gamri, completely. The Omar, by saying to oneself, and here in the rest of this page in the time, he begins a long contemplation that a person can make and think like as follows. Say to yourself, and then he writes, I don't want to be a Russia, an evil person. I don't want to be disconnected from Hashem even for one moment. I never want to be separated from the one God, in any manner. But Gesiv, as it's written in the Pesach in Tillam, and one's iniquities create separation. This is the Indian of the sin. Iniquity is a sin. And what is a sin? I mean, think of it, it's a bad thing to do, right? But the root of it is what's, what's bad about it? The badness about it is that it separates you from Hashem. It creates the disconnect. And the creating of disconnect is an illness on any level, whether it's 
disconnect and you can't have a good relationships with other people, or you can't, in this case, we're talking about having the appropriate relationship with Hashem. I have, Rahani, a, yeah. I have a question. Um, in my experience um, with this kind of thing in the past, um, in a way, it can, it can actually, and correct me if you think it's wrong, but in a way, sometimes um, doing something you're not supposed to, but talking to God throughout the experience or like being, you know, you can actually, it's a struggle. Of course, you're trying to get rid of that sin. Eventually it goes away with all the talking with God and everything, but in a way it brings you kind of closer because you're struggling so much. And it's just, and it's like, you're, it's like he, he's with you the whole time, you know? So it, are you, are you saying the struggle brings you closer? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I think it's like, you know, you're absolutely say, right. Yeah. If let's say if that, yeah, exactly. If that's what you're saying, you're absolutely right. That's the, uh, that's the advantage of Shuva. Return, return. To return, you have to be far away in the first place. I and see. so, and that's, and that's the whole, in a nutshell, uh, transforming darkness into light. And in a place where, that's, where, that's, where, that's, uh, the, where the Baal Shuva stands, even the Tzaddik can't stand. You're absolutely right. The negative can be a, a, a propellant, uh, mm. propelling you forward. If that's what you're saying, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Do you think that um, Hashem wanted wanted me to do delve into that, you know, that addiction that I had, and maybe just to like? <sighs> yeah. No. That's that's yes. But I, that's that's I can't, I can't, I'm gonna, gonna I'll say yes. Yeah. But there's more to be said about that. Sure. Right. Sure. sure. That's, right. Yes. There's nothing. Nothing happens that is not uh, from Hashem. Nothing. Okay. Even the negativity. But uh, that's a great. But. That's a topic in itself we can go. Sure. Okay, great. To the conceive, okay, we said that. So yes, the, sep the, the negative behavior that God doesn't want is called an oven, and it creates separation. But the feeling of separation, depending on how desperate you become, becomes a motivator for, re motivator for reconnecting. I only want to be close, to connect to him. Nafshi Veruchi, my, my soul, Veruchi, the Nishmasi, these are three lower levels of the soul, Nefesh, Veruch, and Neshama. Bishlabshon, Bishlesh, Levushi, is Baruch. And I, uh, make to, I want the, the, my, my, my Nefesh, my Ruach, and my Neshama to be enclosed in the three blessed holy garments, Shehem, Maisir, Debra, Mashav, Hashem, which are thought, speech, and action of Hashem. So, in a short time, I mean, I'm going very quick, quickly, Nefesh, corresponds to deed, ruach corresponds to speech, the breath that comes out of your mouth, the ruach, and the shoma corresponds to your brain, your thought. You want them all aligned with Hashem and his Torah, mitzvah and his mitzvahs. Now, Ava Mr. and you have the power, this is again, we're in the middle of this, Benini to be talking to him or herself. I don't want to be disconnected. And number two, I have the ability they have the ability to, to be connected because uh, I have what's called an Ava Misutera Shibaliva. I have a hidden love in my heart. This is the Pintalayid, the, po the point of Jewishness, the point of connection. This is the, in Hebrew, the, the, the part of God that, uh, that's kind of that says, I'm always connected with, which is the, 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 the advantage that the godly soul has. Yeah, it's hidden deep in my heart. It's hidden in my heart. It's hidden in the heart of all the Jewish people, which whom the Jewish people, they're called, <coughs> they're called the, those who love your name. Even someone who's very light in mitzvahs, maybe someone who's not even observant at all, is able to give and happens and happens throughout our history. So many examples of this. People, and I'm going to the extreme, people who are not observant in mitzvahs, but when push comes to shove, when the plane goes down, they're reciting Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad because it's rooted deep in the soul. And I don't, and I'm continuing to talk to myself, I don't want to fall at all from that which is truly me. And the only reason that I would even fall, what I would that I would fall, is because I'm I'm stupid. 
a spirit of stupidity has entered into me. And it says to me, and it makes me think, I can do this and I'm, I'm still Jewish, right? Right? I'm a Jew at heart. And yes, you are a Jew at heart. And everybody's a Jew at heart. And if you'll just tap that Jewishness, which is deep in your heart, and, and learn about it and develop what and know what it's about, it will bring you closer. But for the moment, you could think, what, what does it really mean? I'm, I'm still a Jew. And I'm thinking, and my soul is at root. It's not separated from, the, from, from Hashem. But a person is, who is in this state has forgotten. This is an interesting word. It's not that you have to learn this. You have to remember who you are. Not learn who you are. Just remember who you are. And remember that your nature is to have a love to Hashem. And that love is Mr. Teres Belibo. It's hidden in your heart. So talk to yourself and say, listen, I don't want to be separated. To be a fool like that other guy, that other person. To deny the truth. On the, other, on the contrary, this thing is given to me that, yes, God has put desires into my heart which are contrary to his will. And partly for, as Vera said, partly for us to do battle with them. Because when you do battle, you get stronger, right? And that's, and that, but the, and those things are in my heart. But that doesn't contradict the fact that even deeper than that, in deeper levels of consciousness than the desire I have for something negative, God forbid, that arise in my heart, is the nefesh elikis, the pintaliyit. And that's, and okay, I can't control those things from rising up into some level of my consciousness. I'm not a tzaddik, right? But I can be a full-fledged evid of Hashem as a benami. Every moment of my life can be like that, even though I can't control those things which are given over to the heart. That the evil should be completely despised, <coughs> believe in my heart, and that I should utterly hate it. Like the Tzad Gomer, who hates it with a complete hatred and not only uh, suppresses it, and number one, and moves it off the playing field, number two, but transforms it into goodness. Or like the Tzad who is not complete, who doesn't hate it with a complete hatred. To be a tzaddik is not something that everybody can do. It takes two things. It takes a great amount of work. By arousing great love to Hashem. <clears throat> and it's also, as we said before, it's, it's, a, it's something that Hashem grants a gift that someone can cross that boundary between a benini and a tzaddik and love Hashem and, and as a tzaddik does, by Ava B'tainugin, with a love of what's called the love of delights, a higher level of delights, meaning which is like the love that the soul has when it's released from the body and it's in the future world. Future world can be in the Shema after it leaves the body or can begin, begin the, the time to hear some which is also called Olam on this our sages have said, on the Mechotira Bechayecha, a tzaddik can see his world in his life. In other words, he experiences the, the effect, the, the atmosphere of Olam Abba in his or her life. And not every person can merit to this, to be there all the time. Because this is like receiving a award in the future. But you can see it is written, avoid this matana et es yeah. It says Hashem gives a, a gift, which is the gift of the, the gift of the priesthood. And here we're saying the gift of the priesthood is the gift that comes after tremendous struggle at the level of Bainani to be granted the ability to be to 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 rise to the next level, to be promoted to its Hashem is written in another place. Therefore, and we'll finish here. Omer Eev, Job said, this is back in chapter one, Tanya. Jeev said, Barosit Sadiqim, you have created Sadiqim. And the Gomorrah in Chagiga says, wait a minute, Sadiqim are not created, right? They're not created. 
but Hashem will give the gift, will give them the Isa B'tikunim. So the idea is the, the Gemara teaches that Hashem doesn't say that Sadiqim will be created, but you have created certain souls who are going to be and rise to that level. You've created souls who have within them and to, to be uh, just who have within them that they've been created for being touched to be revealed Sadiqim. But it all comes through avoidance. There's no, there's no, there's no tzaddik, even in the people who are sort of born, born to be tzaddikim, they have to develop that level of tzaddik. And I mentioned a number of times the Rabbi Rashab, who trained all of his limbs and organs by the time he was 12 years old, only to want Hashem. But that ability to do that is, comes through work and, as, and comes as a gift. Because Jewish souls are on many, many different levels. We have Hasidim, Giboyerim, we have Hasidim. We'll take it as a normal, like we know the Hasidim, but it also means people who are naturally kind, Giboyerim, and people who are very strong, like Shimshin HaGibor, strong, and his Gabrim al Yaisur, who are able to be well wield strength over the Yaisur, the Yaisur, the Yaisur, you know, Yaisur Hora, Marit Torah, and those who are masters of Torah, Nevi'im, we have prophets, and Sadiqim, all different levels, right? But uh, back to the beginning of this chapter, but every one of us is shy to, has the ability to be a baby. Rest. <laughs> Did it? Yay! Yeah. <laughs> we, well, we got there. We're eight. We're eleven minutes over eight, but that's all right. All right. I mean, I'm not in a rush today. I happen to be in Houston visiting my my son uh, on his birthday, which is the Rambam's birthday. Oh, no. Mazel tov. Uh, anybody? Anybody want to hang out? In any? If you have any questions or anything, I, I mean, the bechayin is right here on the table. Everybody has to, has the ability to be a bainan. Just exercise the same exercise that you do when you decide I'm going on a diet. When you decide I'm going to learn how to play the guitar, you know you're going to have to go through changes. So everybody can go through these changes and get there. Yeah, I love the meditation in the middle there. And yeah, but the question is, <laughs> no, I, in the middle of getting angry, it's not like Okay, Hashem, I can't help help myself. I don't want to be separated from you, but I'm so angry. I mean, that doesn't work. I'm right? angry. At, I'm angry at my. No, I'm not angry at myself. Remember, myself is my nefesh elokis. I'm angry at the nefesh of and I'm uh, slapping him in I'm the angry face. Angry at that person over there. I, I mean, I'm really angry. Yeah, right. That, but right. then and to say that, oh, I'll do tshuva on this later. That doesn't work. I'm not I, following you. I'm not following you. The idea of being uh, the struggle being bringing you closer, it's not at the moment of when you're falling, when you're not at the moment of, of, of separation. There has to be some <clears throat> reflection. I mean, I mean, you can't have it both at the same time, you can't do both at once. Both I don't being, be, being what? Both being what? Being this separated because your conduct is, is uh, rockstus and getting close to Hashem because you're saying, Hashem, help me. I see your point. I see your point. Like, like my question yesterday about anger and um, at evil things, like um, being hate, having hatred towards the evil. So like, if you're, if you hate someone or if you're angry, like you just said, what, what do I do when I'm angry? I think it is a breakaway from from what you what you want to be which is like calm and peaceful and uh, and attached to Hashem so I don't oh. I told you there is that separation I think you mean you can't be angry and there at the same time is that, I think that's what you're saying is that what you're saying yes yeah you can yeah right but yeah I, but you I know it's interesting oh. I'm just going to say it's interesting how it backs to Har Yom Yom right about the two but two the two uh, people, two two people, two animal souls, and one godly soul, because you know, I, the state of, of 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 you want to be connected, so it bothers you, if you want to call it hatred, anger, but it bothers you at some degree if you're separated. So that bother is like a, 
a little, you know, like the, the, the irritation in the oyster that creates the pearl. So yeah, the bother of this is being is important, but I guess you're saying and I agree. You can't be bothered and, and connected at the same or moving to connection at the same time. Uh, two hands are up. Sarah Sand, we haven't heard from you. Your hand is up. Um, hi, good Arab Shabbos, happy birthday to whichever son it is. Hi. Um, in response to, you know, following what Rivka is saying, that um, I think for sure anger management is probably some of the most challenging things that we all could face. And I just wanted to offer a thought that sometimes switching your mental activity is more productive than trying to switch your emotional um, uh, mindset, you know, your emotional set at that moment. In other words, like switch activities, go for mm -hmm. a walk, um, read to Hillam, call a friend, anything you do, it's sort of like the response of you could be in the middle of something in your house and somebody knocks on your door. You're actually able to, at that moment, switch activities because mentally you have to address something else. So sometimes mm -hmm. it's helpful to actually do that yourself, even if you're by yourself. Just make that switch. Good. So it's just a... Nice. Rifki, your hand is still up. Are you wanting a, another shot? Oh, Raisa, your hand is up. Okay. Yeah. Um, my thought was, this is why to um to Vera's question this is why we learned Tanya because the Benoni has to take as much strength from the tfila from the learning um from the actions like kind of putting more of our head and our heart into them. We have to take as much strength as we can. And it does start to make a difference. We hope. It does yeah. start to make a difference. So then something that might have, you don't want to be stuck being the same. Something that might have triggered you in the past will not trigger you as you, um, as you, to get more strength from spiritual pursuits. Mm. It's supposed to like warm you up for the rest of the day, not just while we're all together. Right. Right. And hopefully it, it does. And uh, I think we'll have to end on that. <clears throat> let's, all be, let's all be warmed up for the rest of the day and we go into our warm Shabbos and just Amen. celebrate our connection with Hashem. All right. Thank you. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. Thank you. Thank you. Travis. Thank you. Travis.